As part of its regulatory process, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration requires drug manufacturers to assess the cardiovascular risk of all new therapies for type 2 diabetes. Semaglutide, a glucagon-like peptide 1, or GLP-1, analog, with a half-life of about one week, lowers blood glucose. In a multi-center, double-blind, non-inferiority trial conducted in 20 countries, investigators randomized 3,297 patients with type 2 diabetes who were receiving standard care either to once-weekly semaglutide injections of 0.5 mg or 1 mg or to placebo. The patients had a mean age of 65 years and had had diabetes for an average of 13.9 years with a mean glycated hemoglobin level of 8.7%. 60% of the patients had a history of ischemic heart disease, and 93% had a history of hypertension. At 104 weeks, the primary composite outcome of cardiovascular death and first incidence of non-fatal myocardial infarction or stroke had occurred in 6.6% .6 of the patients who received semaglutide, as compared with 8.9% of those who received placebo, thus confirming the non-inferiority hypothesis. Overall, adverse events were similar, but more patients receiving semaglutide had gastrointestinal symptoms and more discontinued the study drug because of adverse events. Thus, semaglutide, when added to standard care for patients with type 2 diabetes, was not associated with excessive cardiovascular risk. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.